business as usual is what we're trying to change. Yes. So, yeah. So what I, and your New York, your NYC sides, volume one compilation with unreleased artists from New York city artists, which, you know, it was, you're working with a lot of great causes with will, which we'll uh, dive into, but Mm -hmm. from the music side of, of things, you know, why did you want to put this compilation only on Bandcamp? Well, that, that, This compilation was also and probably was the first break from business as usual for me. Um, I've never done anything like that before. Um, And in March, I'm I'm super close with food industry folks. Um, They're they're my people, artists, artists and weirdos as much as as the rest of us, you know. Um, And I was witnessing Food Issues Group mobilize in this incredible way changing course to like taking a, a a left turn in the the way they usually operate to mobilize and to like get in gear and start feeding people with their resources that that they had um and was so inspired by it and you know at the same time i'm like mourning the loss of shows and missing the hang and missing the camaraderie of of being an artist in new york um and I, like got with my manager and was like what if we did a compilation record like what if we gave what if we gave people an opportunity to to contribute and participate and advocate for something that I really believe in and help these people that I see like really going to bat for New Yorkers um and I had never done anything like that before to this point really I mean other than than participating in in the ways I can I I'd never really put something together like that and other than curating shows I guess it kind of felt like curating my dream bill like my dream show you know wow it was amazing it was an amazing experience um so yeah that was I think maybe that was the end of business as usual also we did that in the middle of this album cycle I released the first single from side b and then we released a whole compilation of something else and then I went back to side B for the second single. <laughs> One might argue that was a, a bad move in terms of um, consistent messaging, but fuck it. <laughs> so why, why a Bandcamp comp instead yeah, of yeah, the yeah. traditional Spotify playlist that some sure. will do? You know? um, well, we wanted to make sure that Food Issues Group got money and that they got it soon. We released it. Um, during one of the Bandcamp Fridays, I think it was the second Bandcamp Friday that happened during yeah. um, during COVID. And I actually wrote Bandcamp about featuring it because they had an ongoing list about uh, records or organizations that were fundraising for certain causes. And they agreed to take to to in for perpetuity for the like life of this record to take even a smaller cut than usual so they're taking very little and the money is is just going directly to food issues group so that they can buy food for meals as soon as they get it it just was like the clearest way to do it um i also wanted to be respectful you know all these artists donated work donated b-sides c-sides d-sides as it were nyc sides um they donated work that they hadn't had plans for, but I don't want, um, I, I have no like intention of like uh, owning or making that exclusive. So I wanted to have it on Bandcamp for this cause, but at some point in, in some distant future, like allow these artists to use it again, you know? And if it's on, if it's already on streaming services, that's a little more difficult. Um, I don't, I don't quite know how that works, but it's just, it seems like there's, Bandcamp is clearer in that way. You know, people buy music and then they own it like like we used to. Right. So if any of these artists want to put any of these songs on a record of theirs in three years, they should be able to do that without it being confusing from like a DSP standpoint. Um, so actually, I would say they they lent me they they lent this music to the compilation um, as a, as like a temporary exclusive, which is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> 